So now what I'm going to do is that I will use both automatic programming and manual programming to encode the launch sensor and replace the damage sensor. First, I'm going to show you the automatic programming. Hit programming and then hit auto. Hit programming. During the process, we'll have to put the launch sensor beside the ITPMS tool as close as possible. In order to make the sensor adapt to the car system, now we'll have to move on to the learning part. Before we start learning, let's connect the OBD cable to the car. Hit learning, and then hit OBD relearning. Hit OK. As we can see on the tablet, we have successfully cleared the DTC. The whole automatic programming process is completed. Now I'm going to show you the manual programming process. Before we start the process, we'll have to find the OE sensor ID. After we find the ID on the sensor, then we go to the tablet and hit programming. And then hit manual. And then type in the OE sensor ID. Hit programming. During the process, we'll have to put the launch sensor beside the ITPMS tool as close as possible. Now the whole manual programming process is completed. As we can see on the dashboard, the DTC has been cleared. Now let's install the launch sensor into the tire. First, let's remove the OE sensor. And then we'll install the launch sensor into the tire. And the installing process has been completed. 